then I remember calling WOR, giant radio station, very credible, terrific. Mom listened to it, rambling with gambling, Bill Corbell, the whole thing. And Reg Late was a news director, giant. I asked for him, never thought he'd pick up, picked up right away. I said, hi, my name is Doug Geed. I just graduated, I sent a tape. And he said, a little pause, and he said, Doug, I got your tape. Um, he said, you know, you're going to tell me that you got great grades in school and you did so well at the college radio station, maybe with a news director. He said, that doesn't mean a damn in New York. And he wasn't nasty about it. He was just being very blunt. He said, Missouri's a great school. He said, go back out there, get a job in St. Louis or Kansas City, get a couple of years under your belt, come back, and we'll talk again. And I, you know, I was sad, obviously, but, you know, I, I took a break. I walked upstairs to my bedroom. I remember laying down trying to clear my head. And I'm like, all right, you know, maybe I have to do that, but let's give it another shot. My very, very next phone call was WALK. I asked for Frank Brinker, the news director. Immediately, yeah, hi, uh, I liked your tape. He said, uh, you know, I need someone a couple days a week. Can you come in? Came in that next day or whenever. And that's where I met Chris. It was a great distraction. I'm so nervous on my first job interview, and I'm looking at this beautiful girl, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> but I got the job, and I got the woman. So that, that's, that's the good thing.